Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to um, use uh, basic controls in Unity 3D, uh, how to move the camera around, uh, maneuver objects around. And later on in the video I'll also show you guys how to uh, import uh, 3D models from uh, whether they be models you've made or models you've downloaded. And how to make those objects solid by adding a mesh collider or a box collider whichever the purpose will serve and that way when your player makes contact with the object he doesn't pass through it and he only comes in contact with the surface of it like a wall so I'll go ahead and get started I'll create a new scene here um, and in the new scene we'll go ahead and uh, we'll create a terrain and I'll set that resolution to about a hundred meters by a hundred meters. Um, all right. Now to uh, move around uh, the terrain like this, uh, you can just press in the uh, the scroll wheel, um, and that'll move you around, pan you around a little bit. And if you hold the Alt button and the left mouse button and drag, uh, you can move around like this. Um, and those are pretty much the basic controls you need. And then, of course, if you scroll the mouse button in and out, you'll go in and out. Um, uh, up here, you'll notice when you hit Alt, that turns into an eye, um, I guess to show that you're moving the camera around and then when it's like that it's a, a cursor or a, a hand I'm, I'm sorry and if you select that then you can just uh, left click and move around the terrain that way okay so now I guess I'll show you guys how to um, import a 3D model um, whether it be a model you've downloaded or made yourself doesn't really matter so I'll go ahead and uh, go to my desktop and I'll import that and import a model um, let that load um, what are we gonna import I We'll import a barn, for instance. Um, I've already had it imported, so it's right there, as you can see. Um, this may take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. Okay, now that we have that imported, uh, you'll see Beans already had barn imported right here. It went ahead and um, auto renamed it to barn one. That way, it wasn't getting confused with that. So. Uh, to import the 3D model, you'll want to cli click the um, the one that kind of has this little blue box here, and it'll give you a 3D preview in the um, little preview box over here, and let you know what it looks like before you go ahead and drag it into your terrain. So we'll just go ahead and click it, and then we can drag it into our terrain like that. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Um, we're going to go over these up here anyway, so um, this tool allows you to resize the object. Um, you can resize the entire object to keep it proportional, or you can resize it this way, this way, or this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, just whatever you like. So we'll go ahead and size that down. We'll zoom in here and this will allow you to move the object around um, up down left right and this will allow you to rotate your object this way that way any way you'd really want um, so now um, we'll go ahead and import a first person controller and we'll make a, a, a point light so we can see Uh, 
Alright. Go ahead and drop him in there. And if we kick, click, play. Um, I fall through the map. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, shouldn't fall through the map now. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we can walk around. We got our build in there. But when we go up to it, we pass straight through it. And, well, that's not going to serve much purpose in our game if people can just walk through the, game, the, the buildings. So, to make that object solid, what we have to do is we have to have a collider added to it. So, when you click your object, you'll want to go up to Game uh, Component, Physics, and you'll want to add a Mesh Collider. And it'll say Losing Prefab, uh, blah, blah, blah. And just go ahead and click Add. And there you go, you'll see that it has, a, has added the Mesh Collider to it. And if we play our game now, should not be able to walk through it uh, as you can see so that made the object solid now other things can be tricky because not everything like this is all one piece you have to add um, okay so we'll just add this campfire for instance it has more than one piece that's all one piece um, it's all included in the one so if we add the campfire which has all these you need to add a uh, mesh collider to other than the point light um, so we'll drop that down in here um, I don't care what it looks like um, an easy way to add a mesh collider to things that have um, multiple objects and instead of going to everyone and clicking this and adding physics and adding uh, the mesh collider you can just click here and then you can go all the way to the top and hit shift when you click it and then you can go up to component physics mesh collider and it will add a mesh collider to all of these components and as you saw, um, obviously one of these already had a mesh collider to him, so it said can't add mesh collider to the same object more than once. But that doesn't affect anything. So now we have a fire that is solid, and same with the building. Um, so that, that's, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have fun with Unity.